Welcome back, everyone, to Stellaris and, of course, to the Lost Moon Unification, where we have a war a brewing. Uh, I need to make sure this fleet is hunting you down, please, and thank you. Currently, we are making an army of massive hulking warforms, which I'm particularly happy with. Uh, and we are also building a new habitat over here. How far out is that? How much longer have you gone this one? You're seventy four percent complete. How about the ooh. We admit defeat, but do not think this is anything more than a temporary setback for the Unity Jack Quavarian dispute. Ah, oh, but I wanted to kill more of the uh Zarkon Okay, well I suppose that is acceptable. There we go then. You may uh, continue on and, and start expanding out. Uh, right, let's have a quick look. We're actually now starting to bring in a little bit more. Brilliant. Let's have a look. Lead the lifespan. No, nothing particularly interesting here. Uh, Empire leader capacity, maybe. Mm, I suppose we could increase leader lifespan. We've got a couple of organic leaders after all. Uh, there we are. Okay, well, the fleet can now make its way... Back to base. Return to the nearest location where you can heal up. And our transport fleets, which are now kind of scattered to the winds, should all head over to Sparta. Right, where is Sparta? Let's actually go and find you. Get uh, Gantu, so we want all of you heading there then. Let's grab these. Get you over there. There we are. Perfect. Right. Such a shame, though, to have lost all of those uh, units like that. It was a silly loss. I'm not not best pleased. Not at all. Okay. Right. Now, on the topic of wide versus tall, there seems to be a, another divide. It, it's much like any challenge, for example, in, in Sims when it's rags to riches. There's, there's as many different versions of the rags to riches challenge as there are people who've completed the challenge. Um, but uh, with the, the wide versus dust. tall uh, debate, once again, there are those who feel that habitats also count as planets and thus uh, make your empire wider. And they probably do in the, in the technical sense. I'm not actually sure. But then there are those who feel that the, the challenge is more having a set amount of systems and you can completely make use of all of the, the celestial bodies in that system. Uh, there we are, marvellous. Let's have a look then. Military station? No, we're not going to worry about that one. Uh, let's go for... Hmm, explosive weapon damage, I think. Yeah, that'll be fine. And let's bring you all the way... Ooh, Canopus 2 habitat is now complete and ready for colonization. Marvellous. I approve enormously. Let's get you in orbit around Avakis, please. Science Nexus Construction. We have now begun the massive undertaking of constructing a Science Nexus. The foundation is in place and preparations are underway to add the main hub. The promise of new groundbreaking technologies and the realization of ideas beyond our wildest imaginations await. And though the road ahead is long and full of challenges, we have taken the first step. Could the endless mysteries of the universe finally be within our grasp? The future is ours. All right, so what do we do now? So I straight up need a redonkulous amount of minerals. Okay, well, we're just going to have to wait on that then before we can uh, make the next step. All right, uh, that shouldn't be terrible. We're, we're lacking uh, a, f a fair amount, to, to be perfectly honest, but uh, we'll get there. Right, I would like my construction ships. Go ahead and orbit something so that you're not using up money you don't need to. And, right, let's have a look at you. Who are we going to send over here? Uh, sure, we'll we'll send over the the dapplings here, I think. We'll pop them right about there. Uh, Canopus 2 Habitat. Well, no. We're going to straight up name this one. And this one shall be... Bob. Fantastic. I'm glad we reached Bob before we... Uh, we wrapped up this series. It would have felt weird if we hadn't had a planet named Bob. 
All right, we are bringing a tiny amount of money. Uh, let's continue expanding the fleet for now, though. But before we do, since we're going to be going to a new war shortly, let's uh, slow down time and have a quick look at our ships. Now, putting shields on our smaller vessels makes all the sense in the world, frankly. Uh, we'll stick with that. Um, I don't think it really matters that you have... Well, it's the tracking that's useful here. I suppose in that case it really is, though uh, we need more power. It's simple as that. To have that beautiful weapon, we need more power, and uh, that's something that we're going to be going for. Uh, in terms of the, the setup here, shields make the most sense on this tiny little vessel, so that's fine. Panthera has been updated. Rosinate, uh, we're on the best missiles and torpedoes that we can have, so that's fine for now. Sure, nothing needs to change there. That's good. All right, as for the Orion still okay with the missiles frankly so I see no reason to change anything up here that all looks good Kraken now a lot of people have posted comments explaining the way this all works flak generally is much better against strike craft and point defense is much generally much complete. better against missiles we're not really fighting a heavy missile um, fleet though we they are fielding strike craft. So we're going to stick with the um, flak artillery for now. Uh, so that's Orion, that's fine, and Dark Moon. Um, I think I think they're all, all okay right at the moment. Uh, let's pause time there for a moment. Uh, actually, no, it seems it's all okay. It was just construction complete. Uh, over here, yeah, I'm I'm happy with this, but on the cruisers, I'm actually going to switch to armor instead. Uh, we're we're going to be all about the armor instead. Let's get all of those updated to armor. And in fact, we should be good there. Well, we've got way more power than we need there now. Uh, let's go ahead and pop that initiated. one down. There we go. Uh, fantastic. Right, now, has been suggested I use regeneration on my battleships? I guess I could. I'm not going to do that for my cruisers, though. My cruisers can be as they are right now. In fact, we might not even... Well... Hmm... No, I, I, think, I think I'm happy with the idea of them being just heavily armoured. Uh, no shields to speak of there, though. That that makes me a little bit concerned. But we'll see how things go. We'll see if this makes a, a massive difference. I am going against my better judgment with this. Though I suppose one thing we could do is we could have one cruiser set up for shields and one cruiser set up for... Um, for armor. Well, that's not a terrible idea, actually. Not a terrible idea. Uh, we'll, we'll have shield capacities on this, though, if we can. Uh, we might need to uh, reduce the shielding somewhat, though, so begs the question of whether that's really a good idea or not. Let's, uh, let's move things around a little bit. Let's actually have a look at you. You provide 420, 210. How much power do you use? Exactly twice as much. But if you've got a lot of small... Uh, this, uh, a lot of smaller shields, you can regen faster as a result of it. Hmm. And increasing the regeneration, that is tempting, actually. That is very tempting. Two smaller shields are effectively regenerating uh, at a rate of uh, 10, uh, sorry, uh, is that 11.2? Uh, whereas a large shield is only regenerated at a rate of 7.6. So, there is something to be said about that. Let's pop this down there instead and see what we could do if we replaced all of these. We can't quite replace all of them, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, if I place that in there... Almost. Hmm. Well... I think... We could upgrade you to a Marauder Missile. 
Yeah, that's not a terrible choice. And that allows us to have our shields. Okay, Oblitus shall be our shield ship. And we'll just see how the Oblitus does. I will go ahead and upgrade all of my battleships purely to armor. Uh, this is being requested, so we're gonna we're going to test it at the very least. Let's go ahead and get all of the armor in there, and at that point, ooh, we can't quite get away from that, which is a bit of a shame. But okay, uh, but that takes us up to 90 armor. Well, we'll see. I'm I'm a little little worried that this is going to result in our our fleet getting just completely demolished but uh, I guess we'll find out shortly and we'll go ahead and fill this in I doubt yeah not quite able to go any further than that there we go that'll do Doninger has been upgraded now finally the gunner side uh, that can be switched back to Crystal Forge painting there we go though actually all right we'll we'll also test out the the regenerative, uh, regenerative hull. See how that goes. There we are. And one more. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. There we go. We'll just update these with the regenerative hull as well. There we are. And though that has taken down the hull points. Worrisome, but we'll see. There we go, the fleet has been updated. Let's go ahead and get everyone in the fleet upgraded before we go to war. Now this may well pull the Zarkon League into the fight with us, which I actually don't mind giving them a bit of a smack around again. Uh, where are my transport fleets? There they are, let's get all merged please. There we go. Sparta only has two war forms. It's going to take us a little while to get all of those fleshed out, I think. Right, there we go. And with that, you can go ahead and... As soon as the other one merges, there we go. You can go and uh, orbit around Sparta. Fantastic. Let's have a look at you, then. Uh, down to 80k. Hmm. Really? Interesting. Very interesting. Seems that it doesn't uh, doesn't believe there's going to be much longevity in the fleet uh, set up like this. Or perhaps it's the reduction of the uh, missiles, the whirlwind missiles. Could be. Either way, let's go ahead and continue building some more battleships. There we go. And Morovia. Uh, actually, no, let's go to Midos and get a bunch of... Corvettes, and then we'll flash out planetary here. surface settlement. A couple established. of cruisers there. I'll do. All right, time for the very final uh, item in synchronicity, and now we can get the final ascension perk. All right, defender of the galaxy, a star. Well, no, that doesn't really matter to me at all. Galactic contender, damage for fallen empires might be a good one. Circle of Life allows us to build ring worlds. I'm not particularly interested in that one. Subject integration, no. Synthetic age, modify. Mm, I'm not particularly interested in that one either, I've got to be honest. Uh, galactic Force projection, naval capacity plus 200. Technology gained, atmospheric manipulation. Don't particularly need that one, I don't think. But at the same time. Um. I mean, we don't have that technology currently. I believe we took the ability to make machine worlds, and yet I don't believe we have the capacity to do that. So let's go ahead and have a look at that in a moment. Let's uh, quickly build this up. Uh, we could go with auto mining, but I think I would prefer obviously getting... Um, oh, we'll get a neuroelectric amplifier. And this place, I think we're going to set up just purely to make me money. Other than an uplink node and a spare parts depot. Upon which we will build Unity Jacks. And a Unity Jack there. 
But other than that, I just want saplings getting set up in there. But let's just go ahead and have a have a look here. If we head down to Avakis, can we do anything with Avakis? Terraform. We can. We can straight up just terraform it. It would take a lot, but we could. Okay, so we don't need World Shaper then. Absolutely don't need it. Very well. Defender of the Galaxy, down to end game, crisis faction. We haven't seen one, but it doesn't mean one isn't going to happen, but we're almost at the end now. I'm going to say Galactic Contender is the one that we're, we would benefit from the most, so I'm going to grab that one. This is where a Crisis spawns in the next little while, and uh, yeah, it sucks. Of course, now that I've already clicked on that it occurs to me i could have just saved it and used it based on what what happened in the game uh but oh well it's done now uh right let's actually have a look at you your technology level is overwhelming still so maybe that's that's best for us right okay well we're currently waiting on our fleets to be built up they are looking very nice currently successful. There we are, some more energy credits coming in. Marvellous. We could put some shields down, but I don't really think it, it matters too much. Construction uh, we'll go with plant complete. sensor range instead. Thank you very much, Midos. We'll get all of those fleets together. Scientist uh, Davarius has leveled up. Well done. Now, how is Bob doing? Technological acquisition successful. Bob is doing quite well. Uh, it's going to be a little while before the Daplings are finished uh, breeding there, unfortunately. Right. We could add a couple, a couple of extra years, or... Mm, yeah, we'll add a, a few extra years to our leaders, I think. Technological uh, acquisition oh, wow. successful. Leaders gained a level. Ever mind? Avak has leveled up. That is... Wasn't expected, honestly. Uh, unrest minus 70, either cost minus 21%, monthly unity plus 21%, iterative AI plus 33%, factory overclocking plus 10 Oh, that's based on the uh, the species itself. Okay, I approve. And explosive weapons have gone a little bit better. Fine, we'll just get that out of the way because it's just been sat there clogging up. Uh, our research for a long time now. I'm starting to wonder if we should hit the Zarkon League again, though. They're getting a little bit big. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. We've got a reasonably large fleet at the moment. I think it's probably time that we actually uh, took a chunk out of them. So sure, let's get you moved up there. Technological acquisition successful. Fantastic. What did we get? Build speed. Oh, okay. Construction templates. Building build speed plus 50% now. Sure. Let's grab construction that one. Construction complete. Thank you. Bob has finished its construction queue. Uh, Morovia and Avak is still building ships. And they will be chasing down our fleet. Uh, oh, actually, we were able to move through there. Interesting. This is going to pull Zarkon into a fight with us. Which is fine. We might even... No, oh, we could. If I wonder, could we force Zarkon to liberate planets by going to war with their ally? I don't believe we can. Oh, that's quite frustrating, actually. Oh, well. Uh, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. You know, at the moment I saw saw them traveling through, it's like, complete. not going to end well for us, I suspect. Right, Avakis has got the last of its ships out there. How long until you come back? Uh, quite a few months, unfortunately. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's make sure that everything is still heading up there. Right, if you could move over here as well then. Now, how is Sparta doing? Uh, Sparta's got a long while to go on its warframes, but we can at least launch the ones we have. Uh, giving our warframes attachments is just kind of scary. I think we'll avoid Technological that. Technological acquisition successful. Thank you. 
Anything new in there? No, that's fine then. Uh, let's increase our kinetic weapon attack speed for now, but we have someone who is currently unemployed. Right, it is time for us to start getting you solar power. And the same there as well, please. In fact, all it's going to be in here, just lots and lots of solar. I see no particular reason to wait on that. We'll just get it all set up and then uh, our population can sort that out. There we are. And you can head up there. Oh, you're already there. Good. And you can as well. Marvellous. Let's get all of you guys together. Alert. There we go. Oh, dear. Uh, Allied Dark on Sun. Uh, they'd like to give us energy credits in exchange for some more. Um, sure. Okay. That's actually not... Well, you want that monthly for 10 years. Uh, no. No, I don't think we will. Decline. Look, you're on our side, but that was just cheeky. Massively cheeky. Right, I think the whole fleet is now together. And let's have a look at this army. Right, who are we going to be sending out? I think it has to be Slaughterbot. There you go, Slaughterbot. And let's get the transport fleet up there as well. We may actually split the transport fleet in two. Depends a little bit. But it is high time that we went to war. All right, let's have a quick look then. Speak swiftly, Unity. Your presence is an affront to all that is good and holy. Oh, oh really, is it? Very well. Uh, right then, let's go ahead and... Uh, liberate the entire empire. Hmm. I would like to humiliate you. Then I... Hmm. That's an interesting one. There's an entire empire that has been claimed by them. Maybe we could liberate them and then go to war with them. Ah, it sounds good. Construction but, complete. Let's go down. Oh, we'll need to pause this for a moment. Can we... Oops. Let's just pause that there, unfortunately. Space messes up the filter here. Right. That would be an extremely expensive one. Uh, I would like to try it, though. We can't. We need the war score to be a lot lower. Okay. So we are going to have to do it the hard way, then. But I am actually kind of interested in forcing you to liberate a chunk of your empire. I don't know how much of a chunk that is. But I like the thought of it. Um, war score is already 60. That's, it. That's quite a, a chunky war score there. We're going to be at war for a while. Let's have a look. Yield them. Let's get you. Camglara. Get them as well. And Akubens. Is this going to be in our range? Yes, it is. Marvellous. I approve. Oh, actually... It'll kind of mess up the setup a little bit. So, no. Let's uh, take that one back off. Instead, we'll go for Dwumgar. There we are. I think that'll be good. That'll shave off a little bit of their empire. Also, it might cause a bit of an issue somewhere in here. Ah, there we are. Just just a single planet, is it? Oh, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll claim you. Right. And confirm. Diplomatic alert. War Marvelous. protocols initiated. I approve. All right, let's get in there then. Straight away and start wiping out whatever we can. I may shave off a small part of the fleet just to act as a bombardment fleet, and that might speed things along quite a lot for us. But let's get in there first. And that way the bombardment fleet can stay behind while the main fleet just advances and, and takes out more and more uh, of our enemies. Okay, you are skedaddling. Wise, I, I feel. I feel very wise. Okay. Let's uh, wipe out everything in here. 
and then just go and sit there for a little bit. Uh, there we are. Wonderful. You can go ahead and enter orbit for now. Now, the thing is that the more strength you have in orbit, the more you'll... Uh, the faster you'll pull down the um, the bunkers, the defenses on the planet. Also, by leaving a small fleet, I fear that it would attract attention. Right now, I, I suspect that our enemies won't try to engage this fleet. As a general rule, they they'll want to stay quite far away. Whereas, if we have our fleet move. Uh, split up into perhaps a, a small chunk like uh, let's say um, a thousand or something like that suitable for bombardment it would I fear encourage them to just uh, swoop through Ooh. Uh, actually I'm not sure we need the unity anymore I don't think the unity is doing this any good so I'm gonna say no deal on that one no no deal I'm afraid uh, there we are. Let's head over. I mean, we could still get some art, but again, the art only really helps us with uh, producing unity. We just don't need it anymore, so it's not that big of a deal, I think. Bloodstain Raven has developed a new tactical data set from the feature, vect uh, feature vectors of the recent combat instance in Camglaria system. Good. That actually sounds amazing. Let's uh, go and have a look at that. Bloodstain Raven. Uh, combat speed, emergency FTL, combat speed, okay, I like it, aggressive trickster, flexible programming, fantastic, I'd say, right, could you please go ahead and bombard there whilst we bring our transport fleets across, uh, we've only got 4% so far, how are my allies doing? They're probably having a little bit of trouble, but uh, wow, they've they've grown so big so fast. That is definitely cause for concern. Definitely cause for concern. All right, let's land our armies. Thankfully, we do have quite a large fleet at the moment, but that could easily technological acquisition change. Very easily change, actually. Alright, well done on the center upgrades. Alright, continue getting me more credits. I feel that's going to be hugely important. Right, let's get everyone back out there. And we'll leave only two. Just a token force, really. To dissuade any shenanigans. Uh, transport fleet. Really? I mean, they could actually take it. So, head on over. They'd have to contend with... Well, actually, I... Almost want them to try, to be perfectly honest. Although they planetary invasion alert, malignant yeah, atmospheric incursion detected. They're fighting against our war forms. Oh, actually, no. They're uh, Grabassel Receiver Army refitted workbots. Yeah, just two of our forces there doing a fairly good job. I think they might even win because the planetary fortifications are still up. So we're taking a, a, a massive reduced amount of damage. Yeah, that was actually fairly, fairly fun. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm fine with that. Uh, continue on to the next target then. That's actually hilarious. I want to watch it. Uh, let's watch this go down. The, the refitted workbots are, are kind of messed up, but uh, let's have a look what's going on here. Uh, they're fleeing, which is fine. Go ahead, and we'll get the fleet in here and to orbit. But damn it, you're stopping me from watching the fun. Uh, they've got a small fleet now. They're moving in to try and help out, perhaps. Ooh, okay. Okay, we want that fleet wiped out. See, they could come in and just start bombarding, which would be annoying. Very annoying. I'd head out for now. Uh, where is my transport fleet. I would actually like you out of harm's way. Move you down there for now, please. Right, there we are. Yes, yes, I know. Technological acquisition That's fine. Just get out of there for now. There we go. And scientist Kick Portal has leveled up. Well done, you. Leader lifespan has increased slightly. Um, army damage. 
seems that it's paying off for us right now. I'm actually really, really deeply amused by this. I think this army is mostly going to be gone before they even get there. Though now the bombarding has started. Hopefully we can stop this before it gets too bad. We might actually need to go and back them up. Because that, yeah, now, now the death is going to just start happening. That was unfortunate. Surface control has been compromised. It has been, so we're going to have to take it back. On the plus side, it's going to give us an opportunity to wipe out this fleet of theirs. Let's actually uh, move in and have a watch of this one, shall we? Because it's a sizable engagement. Slow that right down so we can properly watch it happening. A uh, little bit of a shame that they managed to get in there and help out there, but uh, oh well. We've got a lot of battleships there engaging. Some of them are already starting to heal, so they've taken a bit of damage. Let's have a look at most of these are, are healing. We've got a lot of our smaller craft swooping in, trying to damage the shields. Uh, let's see how many shields are going down. That one has lost all of its shields at this point. It looks like a decent amount of them are, are losing their shields, actually. And of course, these attacks don't matter. We've already nixed a lot of their fleet. was already gone there, and it looks like they've bailed. So all that remains now is their transporters. Well, I mean, they brought it on themselves, I feel. Uh, let's get a, get a shot of the, uh, the wreckage there. That all may know the fate of any who oppose the unity. Glorious. Right, there we are. Not a bad engagement. We lost uh, two of our 42 battleships, though. They lost eight of their 22. Yeah, they, they got out with a decent amount of their ships intact. All right, let's get you over here, then. We want to uh, reclaim this area. And uh, we're going to need our transport fleet in here as well uh, annoying to have lost those forces uh, now where did they go though is the question where did they manage to get to I wonder all right let's uh, start passing a bit more time if we can see them then I would be happy to get out there and take them out Ooh. okay so our allies are moving in to start dealing with things fantastic the Kovarian coalition They've actually got a, a chunky fleet there. I like it. I like it a lot, in fact. Uh, right, have we got our units nearby? Looks like we have. Go ahead and land armies. Got a bunch of war forms Planetary over on Sparta now. Protocols initiated. Right, we're going to need some more ships, though. Uh, I'm going to send over some more cruisers, Ground I think. Let's get uh, some objectives. more bone dragons out and about. There we are. Well done. We will take this area back. Ooh, what have we got going on here? Uh, it's more really construction complete. Oh, that's just that's that's horrible. That's wretched to, to behold. Why? Why so? Oh, that's that's nasty. All of those troops just dead for no reason. There, there's that's just not nice. I don't approve of that. Uh, actually, we're going to leave some more forms here this time. And we'll leave three Daplings, two Warforms. That should be enough to take out any army. Uh, right, and with that, let's get our transport fleet out of the way. Go ahead and, and station yourselves just out there. Right, we've got a large fleet over there that I would very much like you to go and deal with. There we are. Where's my ally? Where have they gone? I uh, don't see them right now, but it's only a small part of it is the Zarkon League. The, the larger chunk is actually the uh, the uh, Kalimi. Kalimi, I think it is. Right, inactive buildings. Let's have a quick look here. Yes, many inactive buildings, but that's fine. Have they bailed? Or are they still fighting strong? They are still fighting. Uh, you know what, Vakis? I would like you to start repla uh, replenishing our lost battleships. There we go, that'll do. Well done. I approve. Very nice indeed. Let's have a look at that. We lost another two battleships. Wow, okay. This time they lost 17 battleships, and the Zarkons lost everything that was there. 
they managed to get out with a couple of their cruisers intact. Zarkon's display... Oh, psionic potential. Latent psionic powers have begun to manifest in certain individuals belonging to the Zarkon species. According to leaked reports from authorities in the Zarkon League, this must be a fairly recent development since we have no record of Zarkons ever displaying psionic abilities on file. According to the leaked reports, these powers are so far limited to very small minority of Zarkon species as a whole. Scientists in the Zarkon League have offered no explanation. This sorcery will not be enough to save them. No, it won't. But now I'm almost tempted to try and claim some of their species. Can we have... Um... Psionic... Oh, uh, can we have psionic... Robots? That, that, I, it sounds like you shouldn't be able to, but I kind of want to. Right. Okay, well... Should we chase them down? I guess we could. It's kind of beneath us in a way, but... Uh, right, let's, let's get you. Where you are Construction to at the moment? Complete. They're on the move, so... Technological acquisition them. successful. Thank you. And uh, let's continue to improve that. Uh, actually, start improving my minerals as well. Right, okay, here we go. Got some fleets around. Tr mostly transport fleets, though. Go ahead, jump through. Our uh, ally fleet is holding position there. Okay. Got a couple of fleets around. Uh, is everything gone? Really? Wow. Wow. Well, there's no station here, or there isn't any more. Let's head over there then and take this one out. Seems they've got some fleets moving around quite actively. Got a small station, defense platform. It'll just pull us in, and we'll be able to wipe that out fairly easily. There we go. There wasn't really even uh, any kind of uh, opposition there, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we could perhaps try to take you out. Sure. Let's get you going for them. Chase them down if you're able to. While all that's going on, we'll continue trying to uh, claim these areas here. Have we engaged them? They may be about to jump. I wouldn't be surprised if they get out of there. No, they didn't. Well, okay. I'm somewhat impressed. Well done, you. Alright, let's also head back out... Uh, sure, let's try and take this one then. We'll claim these systems. Get my war fleet over here. Move you in. Enter orbit. We'll just wipe everything out in here while we're here. Oh, did we just get engaged by something? No, we engaged the thing I told them to engage. I just wasn't expecting them to be quite that fast about it. Right, okay, well that isn't too bad. We've got 16% of the war score so far. Which is not terrible. Could be better though. Could always be better. Uh, we've got plenty of ships heading out. Mm -hmm. I don't want to end up with a, a fleet that's way too heavily specialized on the, on the heavy ships, so... Let's actually start getting a couple of destroyers out there. Wait a second. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Get down there. This is not good. The Zarkons have built up. Well. Alright then. Let's hope that our... Um, advantage in technology will hold this. But I'm not banking on it. Oh no, it does actually look like it might. Well, okay. That is an interesting engagement. Complete. Both sides are melting. Ours is melting a little bit faster, though. Quite a, a bit faster. This I'm not enjoying watching. But we've actually turned it around. It looks like it's moved into a battleship um, conflict. And our battleships are just significantly more capable, it seems. Wow, okay. That I was not expecting at all. Uh, all right, I, I, we can't actually see the rest of it, but let, I was I was just at this point I was like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna let them fight fight this out. But no, it looks like our battleships won the day there. I am amazed with that, amazed. Though we have 
taken a massive, massive loss today. But so has the Zarkon. Their entire fleet just got wiped. Well played. Okay, and to orbit. I think at this point we are by far the 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 strongest force. At, at least if you don't include the uh, the fallen empire, we are by far the strongest force in the cast. We killed thirty eight battleships. That is amazing. Thirty eight corvettes, thirty five destroyers, and nineteen cruisers. We lost twenty seven cruisers, six destroyers, four corvettes, and seventeen battleships. Our battleships absolutely control that fight that was amazing yeah oh they were firing some missiles not too many though mostly they were fielding strike craft so yeah i'm actually fairly happy with uh having my point defense built as they are though maybe i'll change one of the point defense setups let's go ahead and have a quick look at this then so bone dragon you're set up for, for strike craft. Orion, Kraken. I think the Kraken... You know what? Sure, we'll set up Kraken with... Guardian Point Defense instead. There we are then. Let's save that. And it, as it happens, that's exactly what I was going to start building. So, I would like a lot of Krakens to join the fleet, please. Send a lot of those. And... Avakis, you're currently building more battleships, which is great, but we are going to now need a good number of cruisers as well, unfortunately. Uh, Midos, uh, you can send... Uh, you can send an Orion. That's fine, we'll just... we'll start uh, reinforcing the fleet right away. Alright, let's get uh, our armies landed. It should be a fairly swift battle i'm hoping planetary pacification protocols initiated there we go i imagine that has again been complete. another battle which is basically won the war Ground for us i don't think they're going to be able to uh pull back from that now uh go ahead get back out there uh we'll leave a couple here but we now need you to head back to sparta actually Let's head over to Sparta. Through hard work and experience, scientist Rittis has developed a new skill. Marvellous. Let's have a look at that new skill. Um, spark of Genius, or perhaps Expertise. Uh, I'm not sure which one you had previously. Uh, regardless, we need our transport fleet to return. Go ahead and enter orbit, please. All right, let's have a look at the fleet. How badly messed up... Well, actually, considering that it was... Primarily the battleships that survived. They should be repairing themselves automatically. Our cruisers, though, are really messed up. Mm. Maybe this is a good time to consider updating the cruisers then in the same way. Though that being said, this is an option for us to have a look at what types of cruisers we had. It was the Bone Dragons that survived. That is very interesting. Only the Bone Dragon survived. Okay. Well, given that then, Completus, you're switching over, much like Bone Dragon, and I am going to give you a regenerat uh, regenerative component. Though I will say that that loss of 10% hit points will have meant that some of the Bone Dragons would have died. Um, because I'm fairly certain that a couple of them are only hanging on by a thread. There we go. And we can have that in there as well. Alright, so Orion has now been upgraded as well. Bone Dragon, yeah. Quite marvellous, I must say. Quite marvellous. Uh, we will definitely keep uh, a good number of Bone Dragons, though. Uh, gun aside, maybe I'll actually update some of your point defence to anti they don't seem to feel too many missiles where there is they seem to field a lot of um a lot of strike craft so i'm not going to take them all out but i will give you some we'll see how that goes we'll see how it goes now the question is do i send the whole fleet back to repair it's a risky move if i do 
but I have just wiped out their fleet, so maybe now is the time to do that? Okay, sure. Head back to the nearest available area and repair. That'll do for now. Okay, but I think we're going to be wrapping up the episode there. Bit of a bit of an interesting one. We have had our fleet reduced by half, which is a bit of a shame. Resource shortage. Oh, we have exceeded our storage. Oh, all right. Well, that's fine. In the beginning of the next episode, we'll trade away a lot of that for some much needed minerals. Actually, we might even be able to get enough to start making some headway on our science nexus. But that's going to be it from me. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. As I mentioned, a bit of an interesting one. We lost half of the strength of our fleet, but we did pretty much completely remove the fleets of our enemies. At this point, the war is won. It's just a matter of time until we can claim it because we still have half of our fleet standing. Uh, they've got nothing like that I would be willing to uh, to get uh, to to bet so uh, I might actually have the fleet just rush through their um, space destroying space stations if I have a chance but we'll see I hope you enjoyed though and we'll be joining you for the next but until then and as always do take care everyone <laughs>